Let's welcome Deb. Center uh, and Technology Center, and I just, I mean, can I just say I love my job? I do. I love my job. How great is it? Every single day, I get to work with some of the most passionate, creative people and help them go from idea to implementation. That is an awesome job, right? It's such a rush to go from <coughs> zero to a million, a rush to go from no employees to paying an employee. It's amazing. I do that every single day. And with some of the people out there, Andrew, I mean, come on, Jess, it's awesome stuff. So at the ETC, we often ask the entrepreneur three questions, right? Why you, right? Because people matter. Frank's gone, but investors invest in people, not ideas. Why you, right? We say, why now? What is it about your technology, the environment, the competition? And then we say, why Baltimore? Because Jane was right. Proximity does matter. Place matters. So I thought I'd tackle those same three questions. And you know, if you know me, you know it's the all dev all the time channel. So why me, right? And at the, at the risk of shameless self-promotion, I'm going to tell you, why me, right? So <laughs> I, I kind of have my notes. I kind of so. So why me is because I had an awesome role model. My dad was one of the original 1960s Mad Men, if you watch that TV series, right? So right here in Baltimore, he and some of the most talented, again, creative people in their time, were the first to recognize uh, the talents of Jim Henson. And hey, where? Where's the thing? Go. This so, isn't the right. clicker. It's technology now. It's technology. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. So they were the first to recognize and work with Jim Henson in the Muppets. So in 1964, I'm hanging with Kermit's frog, right? That was awesome. But when my dad lost his job in midlife, there wasn't a crisis. He did what entrepreneurs do. They pivot. So until the day he died, he made his living with his big booming voice. Because again, there was a cluster of broadcast commercial, TV, and films right here. And, you know, Dan, to wherever you are, you brought it up. John Waters wasn't alone. There was a cluster, right? So when it came time for my first job, I wanted to do that too. I wanted to be in some kind of broadcast or media or film. And at age 25, I was so lucky. I was casting <coughs> extras for feature films. And I'm on the set with the likes of Alan Alda and Meryl Streep, right? Again, a cluster. And it wasn't only those guys, it was Al Pacino. And there's our courthouse right now. And all those extra back there, that's what we did. We got those extras. But that's our Baltimore courthouse, right? And justice for all, watch it, it's a hoot. Anyway, <laughs> so when it came time for my own entrepreneurial thing, I decided, hey, you know what? Fashion, I like fashion. <coughs> so a very talented young lady and I started a fashion advertising and fashion photography business. And again, you're saying here, in town, in Baltimore? Yeah, right here, there was a cluster. We had Head Sportswear. We had Joseph A. Bank. We had London Fall. We had five or six department stores. We had opportunity, right? So much so that the Baltimore Sun had a fashion section, a fashion editor. Who knew? They sent me and my partner all expenses paid to the Caribbean Isle of Mustique, where we shot Mick Jagger, Jerry Hall's villa, because she was releasing a swimsuit line, right? So if you're still with me, I've just done one degree of separation from Kermit the Frog to Mick Jagger, right here in Baltimore, right? And so I like to think that I saw the end of an era. I saw writing on the wall. I think it was a phone call, and the phone call said, hey, I want to be director of marketing at a computer game company? And I said, yeah. Uh, what's a computer game, right? 1980? <laughs> 1980, 
state of the art was IBM's electric typewriter, right? But you know what? I did. And it was awesome. I got to work with some of the most talented people in the world, right? I mean, this, look at that, July 9, 2013, 20 years later, we did the marketing for the original civilization, right? And so XCOM, come on, man, right here, right in Baltimore. Two of the best-selling all-time franchises right here in Baltimore. And then the phone rang again, right? And this time, it was an ABC merged with the Walt Disney Company. And they said, you know what? We want to take on Madden football. And this time I didn't just say yes. I said, hell yes. Right? ABC's got a great brand. Monday Night Football, right? Well, right here in Baltimore, first ever multiplayer internet-enabled sports game. We made them take their game up a notch, right? So last, I promise, last story. <laughs> but Jane said, place, proximity matters. Uh, we'll, they'll remain nameless. But the I-95 corridor called at one point and said, you know, we think we can have an impact in the Middle East with computer games. <laughs> what do you think? And I said, uh, after I picked myself up off the floor, I said, yeah, I think we can. So first ever Arabic language video game about Arab culture for sale in Arab countries, right there in Dubai, Arabian Lords. OK? So I think. I don't know, where are my notes? Where am I going? I promise, um, it, that part's over. But, <laughs> so I sort of answered the why me, right? Amazing role model, limitless opportunities, um, a little bit of, you know, personal drive. And I think I said a little bit about Baltimore, right? Why Baltimore? All these things, limitless uh, possibilities. And so now I get to the why now. Right? And the why now is because the city of Baltimore continues to support innovation and technology with ETC and the things that we do, the award winning. We have amazing success stories that continue to stay here and feed the ecosystem and build the cluster. Millennial Media, shout out to R2, the examiner building. The, had anybody read the paper today? The sign is coming down. Our chief integrated sign is going up on Pratt Street. That's a huge success story. Thank you, Baltimore and the ETC, right? So um, world-class university system, we're standing in one now, right? Bill talked about it. And the city is trying to bring quality of life. Red line, thank you, Bill, where you are. Quality of life that our entrepreneurs, that our workforce, that people need, right? Oh, see, Moodle Room, Straighter Line, all those things, Millennial Media, Bill talked about. Um, so now that I've laid out to you, right here in Baltimore, um, we're one degree of separation from Kermit the Frog to Mick Jagger to Sid Meier and Bedouin tribesmen. That's important. <laughs> That's why Baltimore, right? And so I'm gonna need a little help for this one. Jess, are you there? Okay. So, um, and Amiko, you said it too. This is one of my all-time favorite quotes. And if you know me, you've heard me say it. Um, <laughs> but it makes me think of Baltimore every time I hear it, okay? So, you gotta think about this. Ginger Rogers did everything that Fred Astaire did, only in high heels and backwards. And I think that's what we think about Baltimore. We are doing it. We can do it. We will do it. It's a marketing problem. You said it, Daniel. Evolve, right? We can do it. We are doing it. And you know what, Jess? This is why I need you. The shoes are awesome. Come on, put them up. 